Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can make images clickable on your Squarespace website. Cool, so here we are on my demo website and what I'm gonna do is the first thing is go into edit and then from there, I'm gonna go in and hover over this image block here. Now, there are a few variations of images that we're gonna talk through, but I'm gonna start with the image block. This is the block that if you hit add and then you hit image right here, this is the same block, okay? So there's other ways of uploading images that we'll walk through in a moment, but for now, we're starting with this. So once I'm in here, we're gonna wanna click the pencil, and then once we click on that pencil, you could design this, organize it the way you want, upload the image, but then right here, you have the opportunity to link this. So it could be on image, which is kind of funny it even says that, but it does, so just on image. And then here, you have full flexibility to do whatever you like. So if you type in forward slash, it'll pull up all the URLs on your website, and you can easily just start typing in the about page or whatever page and link that just like that. You do not need the full URL, you just need the forward slash, you're good to go. But if you wanna do other things like files or just anything else, you'll just go to the settings wheel right here and then it gives you a ton of other options. This also is where you can set the photo or set the image link to open in a new window. So you could set up a page on your site. It could be a web address to an external website. Highly recommend opening it in a new window if it is an external website. It can be a file from your computer uh, or from your website. And then it can be an email. A lot of people do this and they overcomplicate it. I would not do all this. You could, whatever, but just do the two. Basically, that's the most important thing. And then you could do a phone number as well. You could do any of these for links, which is really, really cool. We're gonna keep it at this page. Uh, and I'll just do this for the sake of it and hit save and we're good to go. Now we've just added this link and now this link works. Now, another option of images that you can have on your site is, let's hit add block, and I'm gonna add in a gallery. Now, some of you have gone off in my YouTube comments about galleries. I don't know why, but for some templates, they have galleries, and for some, they don't. So, I don't know why. I'm not the expert behind every decision. All I know is that it is available for some people, and maybe designers only or something at times. I literally don't know. All right, so we have this gallery here. What we'll do is we'll click the pencil, then once we're in the gallery, Cool, I just uploaded the stock photo here. What you'll do is you'll click the settings wheel and then in here you have this click through URL. I hope this they make this a little bit prettier in the future, but you could come in here and this is like the old style of Squarespace. So the one you just saw is the new style, this is the old style, but you could come in here, do the forward slash, type in the URL and then be good to go. So then that will link um, where you want it to go. You'll hit save and you're set. The third option is, let's do add section. Now, let's say you create a section and whether you realize it or not, it had this little eye with the section. So let's click on this and create this section. Well, this is cool. You created a team section. Now, what ends up happening, let's do edit content. Let's not imagine this is a team section, but it's like a directory. It's like six services you offer. And you have like descriptions under it and all of that. Well, you could add a button, but there's no way to directly uh, make the image clickable without custom code. So when you go to content, you just have to make sure you check off show button. And then from there, you can go in here and then at the very bottom, button text, you could change that to learn more and then adjust it as you like. So if we go back to the about page, we're good to go. And now that button will work. The image is not necessarily clickable, but the button is. If you do a Google search, you might be able to find custom code to make the whole thing clickable. Friends, I have an important update to share with you. If you just watched this video, and you got value from this video, you already know what to do. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. I love recommending that because it tells the YouTube algorithm some fancy stuff, but what it tells me is that you got value from the content so that I could create more for you. But on top of that, there's this important update that we're doing, that we're launching, that is the most positive, engaging, 
and coolest place to be if you are an aspiring Squarespace designer. So if you are an aspiring, like I just said, Squarespace designer, this is for you. We have built a community. It is a paid community, but we've built a community that has these pricing tiers that you can get in on where you can become a better designer in the next three, six, 12 months and have support. You could learn all the, you could watch all these videos on your own. You could like read every article on the internet. But what I've learned is the best tips and tricks that I've learned as a designer have happened in community. Also, if you do the community or the coaching component that we offer, you're going to get direct access to someone like myself where I can help speak into issues or challenges you're facing. Having difficulty with a client, we could speak into that. Not sure if this the site you just built is what you want to send to the client and you want feedback from people in the community great place to be a part of it. All right. So there is a ton of value. Honestly, the list is like endless. There's so much value. If you are a designer, you will step up in process in your flow. You will raise your prices. All of that will happen when you join this community because every designer I've worked with has raised their prices, has raised their standard and has become a better designer. So definitely check out that link below. Again, like and subscribe this video if you got value from it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.